Hi, we're going to be using R to create a histogram, a pie chart, and a scatter plot. I'm going to start with the histogram to model the daily sales of newspapers. I'm going to create a vector first called news. And I'm going to write the first day's sale. Oh, sorry, this C is the concatenation or combined function. And I'm going to write the first day's sales, uh, $87. Second day's sales, 94 The next third day is 98 I have the rest in the clipboard because it's a lot. Because this is inside a function, we're going to need to close that with the right parentheses and hit enter to create the vector. We're going to put that then into a function called histogram. And you'll see there's a default histogram open. And this has open intervals on the left and the right side and I want to ch and I want to change that so I'm going to first ask for help because just something felt wrong and that is my go-to instinct then so I'm going to scroll up here to the top of the help window and it tells me the top left it's the hist function it gives me a description and the name full name histograms there and it's going to describe what we're going this help window is going to describe what we're going going to be putting into the function from left to right typically they are arguments and they are separated by commas or the arguments are delimited by commas the first vector or sorry the first argument is x which was our news vector and the arguments we're looking for to add to that vector is the breaks argument and we're going to be giving this a single number giving the number of cells for the histogram or bars or lines so i'm going to press the up arrow and it recalls the last command i put in i press it the up arrow again and it goes to the previous one to that so on and so forth um oops I want to edit that command that I just put in and put in breaks and we're going to have five lines five bars now there is one caveat here especially because there is so many daily so many days here being modeled on the left hand side we have that value of 60 going into that bar that's positioned to its right however on the far right side where you have the bar between 140 and 160 that 140 is not actually in there and i will show you what i mean i'm going to create another vector real quick called age um and i'm gonna give it 10 years old 20 years old 30 years old 40 years old 50 years old oh sorry i forgot to use my combined function and I'm going to put that age vector into the histogram again and you see how the far left bar is 10 and 20 but the far right bar 
is not 40 and 50. If you see we have 10, 20, 30, 40, it counts the 10 and the 20 together on the far left, but it does not count the 40 and the 50 together on the far right. This default added to the breaks is different from the way that I was taught statistics, and so I can I might assume the way that anyone else or you were taught statistics, and that's why I am primarily addressing this. So I'm going to open up that help window again, and just wandering around, there is this part right here, the argument called right, it says logical, meaning it expects a true or false value. If it's true, if that logical value is true, the histogram cells are right closed, left open intervals. And that's what you see in, these, in this histogram of the age that 10 is on an open interval, that 40 is not on the open interval to its right adjacent bar. So, if I do the age again, and I go right, um, False, I, well, we'll put in null is going to be our keyword for false. We could also type in zero. Well, let me try zero. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to check something real quick. Give it a one, it goes back there. I'm going to try false. Is a keyword okay? False work, false and zero work for these logical values, and you saw how the bar is now on the right side because it because the open interval it now open intervals to the right. So 50 falls to the bar on the left, 40 falls to the bar on the on the left, so on and so forth. Um, all the way to 10. Or the way that I think about this is the right bar is different now than the far, the far right bar is different than the far left bar. And if I switch it again, now the far left bar is different than the far right bar. And that's the best mnemonic I have for thinking about that. But it's just a little bitty catch. It might get you might skew your results just a little off. Sometimes being off by those little bits can be very frustrating, but if you go to the help in any case, it can be pretty easily remedied because if you look at that uh, help file yourself, you'll see it's not that long. Okay, thanks for listening. I'll cover the net, I'll cover pie charts in the next video.